Making game development videos entertaining is tough, especially when it's mostly just capturing a bunch of boring code. And I've had enough! I don't relate with robots, I don't relate with my dad, and I especially don't relate with C sharp sharp sharp. The real appeal of game development videos is getting a glimpse into the passion and very real oh. lives of the developers who make them. Shoot you mythical little monsters! And that's why, through the power of C sharp, I coded my new relatable robot sidekick, Polaroid. With his all-terrain walking capability, his controllable focus, and posable arms, Polaroid is the ultimate tool. And in this video, I'll prove how superior Polaroid's perfect picture producing style can possibly be. There's my personal posterior. Obviously, I'm still working out the kinks. Hey, give, no, get back here! We're not supposed to see that! Addy. All right, Polaroid, let's try this again. We're here to film game development, not my private parts. Let's just move on. Polaroid is split up into three separate parts that each have their own subsystems. Each of them are vital in capturing that elusive, intimate, handheld feel. His legs add that to bounce. And he bounces around on all sorts of terrain, just from this free IK script I found on the internet. And with a simple script, he becomes my slave, bouncing between two points back and forth, never stopping. What are you doing? Goddamn flowers trying to steal my spotlight. And if I want him to pick up the pace, I can adjust that too. <laughs> it's just, that's just not looking right. To make the viewer feel like they're actually here, I can be your friend if you want me to be. Polaroid's camera head controls the camera. Hey, wow, imagine that. And it's set up to automatically point to and adjust focus onto a single target. And with that quick YouTube zoom feature, oh, I can make sure that he's capturing the things I want him to. Hey, stop it, I'm working here. But if Polaroid is being especially disobedient, I can control his arms and head. When I'm in control, it adds even more subtle movements and microaggressions. So I added a bit of a VR camera smoother to make sure it doesn't get too wiggly. All of these features result in Polaroid's unique filming style. And it's not just about capturing the game development process, but about capturing the emotion and excitement of it all. See, look at this shot. It's not just about the game. It's about the beauty and wonder that surrounds it. Except for this little weirdo. What do you want? I can, I can never understand what these guys are saying. Hey, give me my shit, you little fuck. <gasps> Polaroid, you're right. We don't need all this old junk to take great video. I just need to believe in you or believe in the me that controls you. I understand that now. Go, Polaroid! Go out and snap to the extreme! So on the left, you can see uh, the shots taken by Polaroid. You can see they're a little bit more of a POV, a little bit bouncy. Kind of give you a sense of actually being there in the shot, whereas the one on the right is a little bit more smooth and synthetic, which looks very cinematic and nice, but it doesn't quite give that intimate feeling that we're looking for. But hey, let me know who you thought took the better shots in the comments. I can always turn this guy into scrap metal if I need to. <laughs> oh, Polaroid. Come on, girl. Show me that butt. Had so many good times together. Taking pictures of our butts. But we knew we could never last. When you're taking pictures of that ass. When you're feeling weak, you better turn that shit.